I hope that one outcome of this presentation will be that you, the participant, can answer these questions. What is good laboratory practice, GLP? When and why are GLPs required or appropriate? How or when can GLP compliance facilitate product technology transfer? It is my additional hope that participants will apply the concepts presented in an open-ended manner, because that is the spirit of the relevant laws, regulations, standards, and guidelines. Yes, good laboratory practice compliance is clearly a legal requirement in many jurisdictions, but exactly how, when, and why is not so black and white. A good place to start an expose on a subject is with that subject's definition. It helps to focus the discussion that follows. As an English-speaking person, I find it interesting that the word definition has more than one definition itself. There can be simply empirical definitions by convention. That is a conventional definition that everyone agrees to use. Operational definitions are more descriptive and communicate the process or outcome associated with something. Here we have the conventional definition quoted from the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, the OECD. According to OECD, good laboratory practice is a quality system concerned with the organizational process and the conditions under which non-clinical health and environmental safety studies are planned, performed, monitored, recorded, archived, and reported. FDA operationally defines good laboratory practices via regulation requiring quality assurance unit management of a quality system applicable to non-clinical studies. The FDA's GLP regulation, unlike the OECD handbook, does not list a conventional definition for GLP. As you will see throughout this presentation, these are the two primary sources for defining good laboratory practice. The FDA's scope statement in the GLP regulation may help clarify the definition of GLPs, which is otherwise unstated by FDA. The scope begins by saying, this part prescribes good laboratory practices for conducting non-clinical laboratory studies that support or are intended to support applications for research or marketing permits for products regulated by the Food and Drug Administration. Having made this applicability statement, the scope continues to define GLPs in terms of their intent, which does not differ from OECDs. It states, Compliance with this part is intended to assure the quality and integrity of the safety data filed pursuant to various sections of the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act and the Public Health Services Act. 